What's up, folks? Dave Mate, Circle of Drink. Pour yourself a gourd, sit back, relax, and enjoy life. Nothing better than Mate. Salud. Liquid God. I'm drinking uh, this mate called La Esquina de Flores, which is a nice organic mate from Argentina. It translates as the, the corner of flowers. The corner of flowers. La Esquina de Flores. It's pretty tasty, snappy mate. I like it. My friend V put me onto this mate a couple months ago. Salud V, thank you. Thank you for this delicious recommendation. I want to talk about the health benefits of mate. There are many. And a lot of them are known to people who drink mate. They just drink it to drink it, which is great. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's also good to know some of the health aspects of what this ancient herb that's derived from the holly plant could do for your body, as well as your mind, as well as your spirit. There's metaphysical aspects of it. So just to kind of brush through the stuff you probably already know, mate's loaded with uh, minerals. Tons and tons of minerals. It's loaded with uh, with uh, proteins. It's a complete protein, I believe. Amino acids. It has uh, magnesium, iron, phosphate, manganese, all different types of great minerals that the body needs uh, for optimal functioning. That's pretty much a sort of baseline of what mate is. It's a great herb loaded with great minerals and proteins. But it gets deeper than that. I'll also, as I continue to talk throughout this video, be posting uh, all the pharmacological references that I'm making in this video uh, below the video in the description. So you could go ahead and read the same reports that I've read from different chemists and different doctors, different researchers, from well-known uh, facilities throughout the world, University of Uruguay, uh, as well as various studies in Brazil, study here at the University of Illinois recently. Uh, so you could go ahead and read that to confirm or to corroborate exactly everything that I'm saying, so you know I'm just not pulling it out of my gourd, this information, so to speak. So, some of the latest research, and I'm going to try to just speak normally here, not try to bore you with terms, but some of the latest research is showing that mate uh, is loaded with antioxidants. There's these group of chemicals called polyphenols, which are basically have antioxidant properties. Antioxidants uh, are responsible for neutralizing the bad sort of molecules in your body, which are called free radicals. They're not really bad, but they can create a lot of damage in your body, such as cancer, abnormal cell growth. Uh, they're the cause of all disease in the body. The greatest thing about mate, on a pharmacological level, so to speak, is that it's loaded with antioxidant properties. So it helps to keep your body in harmony uh, in the fight against disease, in the fight against oxidation that's happening in your body constantly. That's why some people say mate helps you live longer. It's great for longevity because that's exactly what antioxidant uh, free radicals do. They aid you as they take over the body. Your defenses for pushing them back uh, is a result of aging, becoming older. So, and I can attest this for myself. I've been drinking a lot of tea for the last several years and a lot of mate too. And I seem to be aging a little slower than what people think the age that I am. I'm 28 years old, but a lot of people think I'm 22, 21. I get that all the time. I'd like to think that perhaps it's the high consumption of tea and mate. I don't know. Perhaps. 
so it has anti-aging properties. Uh, it's anti-inflammatory. Inflammation is one of the culprits of cancer in the body. When, when your cells are inflamed, they tend to mutate. Uh, inflammation takes place in the bones, in the body, in the muscles. So mate is good for anti-inflammation. It helps uh, decrease the chances of inflammation and also reduces inflammation if you already have it. Uh, Anti-mutagenic properties mate has. So if you have cancer, particularly colon cancer, or if you're uh, predisposed to colon cancer, then perhaps mate is good for you to drink as well. A recent study uh, in the University of Illinois just a couple months ago showed that in vitro, in inside of a of a contained environment, mate actually uh, destroyed the DNA of colon cancer cells. Once the DNA of the colon cancer cells were destroyed, the actual cancer had no other choice but to self-destruct. This was done and uh, documented very well at the University of Illinois just a couple months ago. You could go ahead and read that for yourself. And uh, this scientist, I believe her name was De Mejia, also showed that mate is anti-inflammatory. One of the great things to understand about mate as well is that its relationship to something called oxidative stress in the body. Oxidative stress basically is a situation in your body, uh, it's sort of your biological defense against the proliferation of free radicals in the body. What does that mean? Basically, oxidation, oxidative stress occurs when your body isn't able to properly defend itself against the destructive molecules in your body that result in disease. So, as you drink more mate, you increase and, sh and strengthen the, the defenses against oxidative stress in the body. Now when oxidative stress is on a high level in the body, a lot of diseases are able to manifest. Diseases such as uh, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, Alzheimer's disease, obesity, uh, fatigue, aging, uh, different sorts of syndromes. The list goes on and on and on and on and on. Mate has shown to increase the body and fortify the body's ability to deal with oxidative stress. This was a study that was recently done uh, in, a, in a facility in Argentina called, I think it's called Cosinet. I'm going to put the link below. You can read that and see the studies that they've done with, to show that mate uh, works in such a manner to prevent oxidative stress in the body. So what does that mean? Basically, mate is going to fortify your body against diseases, against Alzheimer's, against high blood pressure, against uh, LDL cholesterol, which is the bad sort of cholesterol that you don't want in your body. Now, there are some terms and some claims out there, rather, that show that mate uh, causes esophageal cancer here. But if you really read the research, you'll see that those are all inconclusive. In fact, there's more research supporting mate's ability to fight cancer than to ever incite cancer in the body. The thing you have to understand, mate, like tea, like coffee, when, when drunk hot, you're going to create a, a sort of thermal uh, hazard in your throat region. What happens is when you drink something, anything that's extremely hot, you're going to uh, be more susceptible to cell mut uh, mutation. When you're more susceptible to cell mutation, yes, cancer could evolve. Cancer could manifest in your throat. But that has nothing to do with the substance in particular. In fact, studies have showed that the uh, anti-inflammatory uh, properties of mate help to decrease the chances the chances of getting cancer, most notably lung cancer. So perhaps if you drink a lot of mate, you could offset your chances of getting lung cancer, 
solely due to the anti-inflammation properties of mate. There's some studies that are that are researching that as well. So, if you read the research well, you'll see that there hasn't been any conclusive study showing mate to be solely responsible for causing any sort of cancer whatsoever. So, do the research and you could prove that to yourself. What else can I say about the health benefits of mate? That's a pretty much what I wanted to say about it. Uh, mate has shown to have synergistic effects with statins. So if you're on uh, medication to help decrease your, your uh, LDL, your low-density lipoprotein, your bad cholesterol, uh, mate may have synergistic effects with that particular medicine that you're taking, different sorts of medicines. Of course, everything that I'm saying now, you're going to want to consult with your professional medical uh, examiner, your own personal doctor, before starting to take mate for any health, adverse health effects that you have. Please do not uh, follow my advice on that without having professional consultation first. I have to make note of that. <laughs> that was kind of serious what I just said, but uh, I don't want to be held liable for anything. So that's pretty much the pharmacology of the past several years of sherba mate in the United States. Everything I just spoke about pretty much sums up what most scientists have, uh, at the very least, published about their findings of mate. But if you, again, if you read those reports, you'll see that these scientists still don't fully understand uh, the sort of kaleidoscopic effect of how mate really helps the body. We fully don't understand how it's working yet, and I don't think we ever will be able to fully understand how this ancient herb protects the body. All we can now know now is that it seems, without a doubt rather, really, to have anti-aging properties, uh, lower lipid lowering properties, lowering your bad cholesterol, and it has uh, anti-immunogenic properties, anti-inflammatory -inflam properties, and uh, the high antioxidant count of sherba mate results uh, in the defense against oxidative stress. Oxidative stress being the biological mechanism that helps your body prevent yourself from getting disease through the proliferation of free radicals. Now that's sort of one aspect of the health benefits of mate. That's sort of the pharmacology. But then there's also more of the metaphysical aspects of mate. Now, just to kind of go into the metaphysics of it, of course my information is anecdotal at best, so I can only speak about myself, but mate seems to induce something called, what I call, creative clarity in the brain. Creative clarity is a sort of a clearing away tabula rasa of uh, the dust, the sentiments, the thoughts, the, the things that seem to cloud our brain from properly functioning. Perhaps mate even uh, increases the relation between the left and right brain hemisphere, perhaps. So, like drugs, if you will, drugs like marijuana, mate has the ability to kind of clear the brain and to also scramble the brain in the sense of inducing a, a creative clarity where creativity is more easily, easily obtained when you're drinking mate which has a lot to do with uh, making friendships, has a lot to do with decreasing social barriers between you and the people you're drinking mate with. These are all sort of spiritual, metaphysical aspects of mate that aren't really uh, translated into the science, into the pharmacology of mate, and rightly so. They're two different uh, lenses to look at mate. So mate is an inducer our friendships. It's a conductor of friendships. It helps you build relationships with people. It helps to put you at an ease. Uh, it helps to literally soothe you. It not only soothes the nervous system like no other drink has ever been able to do, but it soothes your disposition. It soothes your... perhaps your, your energy. It soothes your vibrations, your, your uh, perhaps what some scientists will call your resonance frequency, your 
human energy field that is around everything, around yourself, that's being emitted from yourself. Did you ever walk into a room and somebody else walked in and you just didn't like that person? You had no justifiable reason except that you felt their energy and it was negative and you wanted to get the hell out of there. What you were feeling was that person's subtle, subtle vibrational frequency that was being emitted from that person. I believe, through my own experiences, that mate increases your vibration, your, your subtle energy, and it increases the vibrational rate of that. Uh, and puts you on a higher elevation. It puts you not only on a physically higher elevation, but a spiritually higher elevation, which helps to induce uh, warm feelings, senses of comfort, senses of camaraderie between you and the people you're drinking mate with. When you're drinking mate alone, it helps connect you with the, the all. It increases your omnipotence, your omnipresence through, through everything which you're connected to. It helps you understand things that perhaps you weren't able to understand before due to the obscurities in your brain and the indoctrinations and the, uh, and the commandments from the given society that we're living in. Mate is a, has the greatest ability, I think, right now, in any drink that we know, that allows for this sort of uh, leisure, this sort of necessary repose that we need on a daily basis to, to reflect, to contemplate, and for all intents and purposes to just to meditate and press pause on this uh, ever-demanding society in which we live in. So salute to that. I don't want to make this video too long. But I hope I covered some of the metaphysical aspects of Mate, as well as the pharmacological aspects of it. And we're still in the infancy stage, really, of understanding the pharmacology of mate, as well as the metaphysics, especially here in the United States of America, where mate is relatively new. Salud. This is Dave Mate Scarapore from CircleOfDrink.com. Please check out our website, subscribe to our newsletter, and just keep in touch with us, guys. Take it easy. Ciao.